Email marketing is still, to this day, in the year 2013, one of the best ways to grow your business online, period. It just is. Uh, in a world where we're told that social media is the next greatest thing, uh, it email marketing still has great power and, in my opinion, better and more effective and more efficient financially uh, to generating leads and, and sales than social media is. Email marketing to me is just the best way to do that. Let me give you some examples. Salesforce.com recently did some great research about uh, email marketing, putting together a nice list that I found about uh, and found some other people that had done research as well. For instance, uh, convincingconvert.com that they cited in their report said 44% of email recipients made at least one purchase last year uh, based on a promotional email. At least one, probably a lot more than that. Seven in ten people say they made use of a coupon or a discount from a marketing email in the prior week. That was from a 2012 Blue Kangaroo study. And uh, Experian did research and found for every $1 spent, $44.25 is the average return on email marketing investment. Do you? Is there much else that you do that you spend one dollar on and get forty-four dollars in return? Uh, that's pretty incredible. So email is still one of the greatest things that you can do. Uh, having said that, not everybody understands how to use email marketing. Uh, it can be um, intimidating. Uh, it can make people nervous. They're just not sure how to use it. They're afraid people aren't going to like them. You got to get over that. Uh, email marketing is just a great way to have another conversation and connect with your clients and potential customers. So let's talk about some ways here and eight ways to make your email marketing better. Eight tips on how to create an effective email marketing campaign. Number one, short, effective subject lines. The biggest challenge for any email marketing uh, campaign is to get people to open the email. If you can get them to open it, chances are you're 90% there. Uh, the subject line is critical to getting people to, to open it. I, I advise a lot of businesses when I talk to them. It's not about newsletters. It's not about here's your weekly email. I could care less. Delete before I even open that. Make me want to open it. Help me with something by offering it in that subject line. Uh, and I give some examples on my website on crossdig.com. Some bad examples. The July newsletter. Again, who reads newsletters? Uh, you know, uh, our weekly email, your monthly email notice is ready for your review. I mean, come on, really? Uh, some good examples. Special deal today on a large pizza if you're selling pizza. Or uh, half off sales begins tonight. You know, something like that, that, that is a bargain. It's a special offer. It's a deal. It's a limited time only, something special for you, the consumer, that people can't get anywhere else. Make them feel special when they open that or see that email in their inbox and make them want to open it, that they can get something uh, that is only inside that email that is special to them. Number two, make your emails useful. And I've talked about this a lot through a lot of content marketing on CrossDig.com. Uh, making things useful. Your emails are no exception to that. They need to help people. They need to s help them save some money. Tell them something that they don't already know that is useful to them and helps them. Make your emails useful. Um, number three, keep it simple. I don't want to open an email that I thought was enticing just to find tons of links and pictures and stuff and just get completely lost. One, maybe two things in the email period. Move on. If you've got a lot of things to say, split it up into different emails and send them at different times. Uh, your email is not a website. It is one, it needs to be focused on one thing and do that one thing well, deliver on what you promised in the subject line, and then get people to your website to get more. Keep it simple. Mobile friendly. More and more people are using their mobile devices to access the Internet, especially their email. In fact, uh, I found some research recently. Um, nearly half of the people of people now open their email on a mobile device. So if your email is not mobile-friendly, meaning it doesn't look good on a mobile device, you can't read it, you have to zoom in or whatever to see it, you need to redesign your emails and make them mobile-friendly. Um, I encourage clients, if you're selling something, 
don't tell people to print out something, print out an email, but just come in and show us your phone. Show us that, and, and we can give you the deal right there off of your phone. It's paperless, and it makes it easy for the consumer that way. Uh, so keep, make your, your emails mobile-friendly to do that. Call to action. The email needs to encourage people to do something. Don't just leave it right there and say, here you go, and this is it. The email needs to be have some sort of call to action. Did, did I ask my customers to do anything in the email? Did I make it obvious of on what I'm asking them to do in the email? If I were a customer, would I want to share this email with my friends? I mean, those are all good questions that if you're not answering them very well, you need to redesign the, the, what your goal is with your email campaigns uh, and make them useful. Best day, best time to send emails. Uh, GetResponse recently analyzed 21 million email messages sent from across the U.S. It found that Thursday is the best day to get emails open, followed by Wednesday and Friday. Uh, the weekend showed the lowest open rate. So that makes sense. People at their desk at work, uh, that those are the best times to get emails opened is, is those days of the week. As for the times of the day, uh, the best times of the day to be during normal work hours, especially mid-morning and mid-afternoon. That's when most emails are likely to be open. By the way, the interesting stat I found out of all this, most emails are open within 60 minutes of delivery. So if you're sending your emails during normal business hours, chances are they're going to get opened within 60 minutes of them being sent. Uh, and after 24 hours after an email sent, hardly any more emails are open. So if someone doesn't open it within 24 hours, chances are they're not going to do that. All right, another, uh, another tip. Keep your deal short. Don't send me an email. Send out an email and say, hey, it's good for the next month. Tomorrow never comes. I'm going to sit there and say, oh, I can go do this tomorrow. And then tomorrow, oh, I can do that this weekend. And then oh, I'll do it next week. Never happens. Keep them short. No, Up to three days at the most is what I would, you know, if you've got a deal that extends longer than that, do the deal for three days. And then on the fourth day, send out another email with another three day, you know, something like that. So you can constantly send emails. You're reinforcing your brand image that way by a good frequency there as well. But it gets people to actually do something now. I encourage clients to go on and just do today only. So that person said, oh, if I want this, i got to go today and get that. And, and they get excited about doing that right now because people have very short attention spans. So something to keep in mind there. And then finally, using it frequently. You want to use your email marketing frequently. Don't send one a month, although if you have to, at least do once a month. But I encourage at least once a week, two or three times a week is even better. But you're reinforcing your brand, your business. You're staying connected with your clients. You know, you don't ask repeat customers to only come in once a month. So why, if they give you your email address, would you only want to contact them once a month? Constantly send them something that's useful, that helps them, that encourages them to come into your business digitally or physically and do something by one of your products or your services. That's my tips. I would love to hear your tips. What do you, what works for you when it comes to email marketing? Please visit crossdig.com. Share those with me. I would love to share them with everyone else and, and show people what works. Give me some good examples. I'd love to hear from it. Thanks.